Carrie, you play in this film uh, what I might describe as a, a damsel in distress, but a very unusual one in that you seem to be a very liberated, outspoken damsel. Is that what actually appealed to you about the part? Well, it was... What appealed to me was that George Lucas, who wrote it and also directed it, uh, didn't want a damsel in distress, didn't want your stereotypical princess, you know, sort of a victim, frightened, uh, incapable of dealing with a situation without the guys. So uh, he wanted a fighter. He wanted someone who was independent. And uh, that's what appealed to me about that part, yeah. When you read the script, which I imagine was several years ago now, what was your reaction? Because it is, I'm sure then, it must have seemed, to some extent anyway, a pretty bizarre kind of film. Well, I wanted to know what the lunch breaks were going to be like, you know, when they said cut, and here you were sitting around with three-headed monsters and people with hair dryer heads and so on. But it was a terrific script, because they had to budget the film like a low-budget film. It, they call it the most expensive low-budget film ever made. They had to put, plan every shot, because uh, it was good, they were going to have to devise all sorts of new things for the special effects. They only had and I say only, but for special effects, it's not much. Ten million, uh, three million dollars. It's a ten million dollar film. They devised a whole new method for shooting the special effects, which was uh, computerized, and they would have a memory, and it would it would just shoot the thing on a, against a blue screen a, over and over for about a year to perfect all of the things, the blowing up of certain portions of the planets and so forth. It took a long time to do all that. So. With m they Miniatures, used models, models and, yeah. and shot each individual movement separately. Yes. Like, rather like a cartoon is made, in a, in a sense. Yes. Now, as well as working with robots and strange sort of creatures, um, you also get involved in some very hairy, death-defying scenes yourself, don't you? I'm thinking yeah. in particular when you, when you fly across that chasm with, with uh, the handsome hero, Luke. How did you feel about that? I mean, I presume you did it, did you? It mm -hmm. was you. It was me. I don't want to brag or anything, you know. <laughs> no, it was difficult to do because it was about 30 feet up and uh, they had a brace on Mark and Mark Hamill who plays Luke and one on me connected to him. And they put two cameras up and first they hung us from the ceiling to che check the durability of the rope or the actors, I don't know Charming. which. <laughs> and the crew made fun of us. We just hung there, helpless. And then we did the swing across. And I was very frightened, and we did it, and I liked it. But we did it right. Now, I've heard this film described in all sorts of ways, and I've, I've seen it for myself. How would you sum it up? How do you sum up the story of the thing? Well, it's, uh, it's good against evil. It's, it's uh, George's homage to every film that he ever loved. George loves films, and that's what this film is about, is movies. Every scene is, uh, in some way, reminiscent of a, of a scene in a film that we all loved before, like in High Noon, there's a bar sequence, only this time it's with monsters instead of Gary Cooper. Uh, and uh, you've got The Wizard of Oz, we have a robot that looks sort of like the Tin Man. We, you have adventure, like Robin Hood, we do swing acrosses. It's, I guess it's going to even be like Tarzan. Buck Rogers, it's got everything in it, every ingredient. George made a movie that he wanted to see, not so a movie that he thought uh, the public would want to see, because if he thought that uh, if he'd made a movie like that, we would be seeing a disaster film again or something like that, probably. A touch of the Flash Gordons as well in this. It's got whatever you want it to be. It's a it's pure entertainment. It's like a roller coaster ride, and it can be interpreted as long as you enjoy it, which is the intention of it. <laughs>